the dub version is actually more enjoyable than the subs version? What? Hey guys, Heart Club Productions here. Today I have a short discussion I want to talk about. Recently, Netflix has released part 4 of Pokemon Journeys episodes yesterday, and there is a certain episode that I want to talk about. And if you already have guessed from the title of the video, it's about episode 48. Pokemon Journeys Episode 48, the English dubbed version, is better than the original Japanese version. Now, usually I would call the original Japanese version the superior watch-throughs of Pokemon episodes, while I still enjoy the dub no matter what. This time, I claim that the dubbed version of Episode 48, or Episode 12 of Part 4, is actually better presented than the subs version. The way I view this version as a much better watching experience is through the voice acting and background music and how it feels less in your face like the subs version is. Cinderace has a very cute voice in this version because fans think that his voice was a little low pitched because it does not suit his cheerful and happy personality in the original Japanese version. The voice is not awful, but the dub's voice for Cinderace actually fits his personality more accurately. Lucario's voice acting by Bill Rogers still delivers a very solid performance, as always. I'm kind of disappointed that the original voice actor from the Ace Pokemon movie wouldn't voice Lucario in the dub, like in the Japanese version, but in my eyes, Bill Rogers still satisfies me. Overall, the voice acting is a step up for these two characters in my opinion. The original actors are not bad, far from it, but in my eyes, I think the dub handled the voices a little bit more effectively in, in my opinion. Here's another aspect the dub version did this episode better. The background music is not in your face that this is a kid's episode. What kind of annoyed me in the original is how some scenes played the generic battle music for or the crazy shenanigans theme during the parts where Lucario and Cinderace are flying all over Castilia City. Those parts felt kind of annoying when it's in your face. In the dubbed version, they don't do that type of thing where they shove down cartoony music down our throats in the parts I mentioned earlier. It was more laid back and less in our faces, and whenever shenanigans are going on, the background music is being more laid back so it does not get annoying or generic. The background music in the Delta version is less in our faces and decides to be less annoying and more laid back. So Lucario and Cinderace could be the more effective on, on the humorous parts. The final element that made the dub version of this episode better than the original is how the voice actors were actually trying to make this entertaining for what they got. Sure, the episode did not change in terms of plot or dialogue, but the voice actors did sound genuine when they were voicing Lucario and Cinderace. For the parts where the two were screaming while being slingshotted, it sounds like genuine screams, and it gives me a chuckle-worthy vibe that Casey Mongilio and Bill Rogers were having a blast voicing their characters for this episode. Again, not to say the original voice actors were not genuine in the original either, but I think the dub is more effective when it comes to the screaming aspect of Lucario and Cinderace. So that is how I think the directors of the dubbed version were actually trying to make this episode at least entertaining for what they got. For what I explained in those paragraphs, I see that the directors of the dubbed Pokemon Journeys were actually trying to make this episode more funny instead of in your face silly like the original subs did. The voice acting felt stronger, the background music is not as annoying, 
and it at least were trying to make it entertaining for what they have to work with. Critically, it is a little bit better than the original version, but it's still not a perfect episode. It is better on a technical standpoint in terms of background music and voice acting. I still give the original subs version a 5 out of 10, but for the dub version, I give it a low but surely 7 out of 10 for trying to entertain me and not having the obvious shenanigan parts be less annoying. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this little discussion on how I think the dubbed version of episode 48 is actually better than the original subs version. Comment down below on what you all think. Did you agree or disagree? Goodbye everyone!